Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another Click Look video where we quickly look at various art books and magazines. And um, Betty the Bunny's with us today and she's going to have a look at this one which should hopefully be issue number 225 of the Imagine FX magazine for May 2023. So let's go and get into this one. So, so far we've had these. These are the 2023 Imagine FX magazines. In January we had that one. They've all been beautiful covers this year. That's what I've noticed. This one is a Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It's all about fan art. We had this one which was a lowish special. <laughs> a lowish. Then we had a sketchbook special which was beautiful. And then last time we had this one which was a become digital become a digital artist. Like I said, they've all been beautiful, but the, the highlight so far is definitely this one from February, issue number 222, from the artist Loish. How beautiful is that one? So is this one going to be as beautiful as that one? I very much doubt it. <laughs> Little Betty's going to get us in. I can't see any... I can't see anything beating that cover for the whole year. That's what I'm thinking. Ooh, we've got a white one. We've got a white cover. I'm better you get one. Ooh, it's a bloke with a... It looks like a, um, a monster thing. Some sort of robot human monster. Power up your concept designs. Well, straight away... Me low, lowish is still my favourite. What I like about this one is, look at the um, style of it. It's got a cool style, and there's like a hint of something happening in the background as well, which is quite nice. But that isn't my sort of characters, to be honest. I like me female characters. Saying that though, very cool. Because he's, is it a human? Is it a robot? Is it a bit of everything? That's what I'm thinking. So Loish is still the queen of the 2023 Imagine FX magazines. But this one here is done by Daryl Mandyke. And what I do on these is, little Betty gets us in and we go through them for the first time. So plop, inside we go. With our little editor Rob. Happy chappy, little Robbie. He's cool, this. When we're thinking about the contents, the artist studio looks nice. Looks like a very sort of crazy, crazy place. Sketchbooks looks nice. That looks really nice as well. Oh, yeah, look, expressive characters. There's a few things there that look quite nice. Yeah, I think they've done away with the um, downloadable content as well. So next month, we've got this one, look, Jean Baptiste interview. I like the look of that character, like a, like a sort of a fantasy little creature. <laughs> Get three issues for three pounds. That's good, isn't it? Into the FX, oh, these are nice. Into the FX pose a bit, look. These are, these are my types of characters. Imagine if that was on the cover. That would have been contender for... No, Lois would still have won. What I like about this character is... It's got like a... Um, it's got like a sort of attitude about her. And it makes me think I'd like to know her backstory. Look, they've got a friendship as well. That's quite, oh, these are nice. Hey, look, Discworld. <laughs> a happy Discworld. Turtle Topia, it's called. I love this one. Look at her little face, look. This beautiful artist, Jennifer Beam. That's nice. I like the, um, I'm not really, I'm not in, sort of interested in the, um, the machine, but I like the, um, I like, I like to see them do like a character. It's a bit sort of sketchy. I like these little people down here, look. 
Yeah, I like the style of that one. Hey! Yeah, this one's got a good style, a nice style. Brad. Brad, Brad George Catalin. Oh, yeah! Skyfire. Oh, beautiful. Oh, now that, if that had been the cover, that might well have won. Look how sort of um, sweet and vulnerable and shy. It, this I love this. Characters like this, they make you want to hug them. And she's got a lovely little outfit on as well. Oh, that is, I love that. I love that one. Number four, it's rainy day it's called. Hopefully the lighting's alright on this one. It seems, I'll put it like that, but the problem is, because they use glossy paper, it makes it a bit sort of, um, you get like a lot of shiny things. Sophia, Sophia Scoggill. I like these. These are like something out of another dimension. Look at this, look. Little creatures. These are the rookies. That's nice. That's nice as well. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> look, the monkey and bumpers. That's cool, that is. Oh, look at that, look. Cool. That's like a gestury, a gestury finished drawing or something. Oh, look at that as well. Amazing, this is. The Gnomon Workshop. Look, the gnomonworkshop.com. I'd like to look into that one. Because I'm loving all of these pieces of artwork here. And I always think it's best to study from people who are doing things that you like. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, talking of someone... I like Proko, one of the best. Stan Prokopenko. Yay, Hardy Quinn. Dun dun dun. A day in the life of Greg Hopwood. We've got a little Harley Quinn here, look. I love Harley Quinn, she's cool. Hey, yeah, look at this, look, for an art studio. That is mental. Rufus Dayglow. <laughs> Day glow, cool name. Look, he's got like this is mental, isn't it? That's the only word that swings to mind is mental. Could I work in there? Oh, cool. He's got comics as well. Look, seventy-five years of Marvel. Could I work in there? N I'm not sure. I think it's a bit too crazy for me. That is. God, look at all these there. characters everywhere. Look, figures. Yeah, I think that's too too much mentalness for me. I'm not sure. I'd love to go in there just to have a look, have like a rummage. I wonder if we've got any Thundercats. Snoopy. He looks like a cool character. Like the artist, he looks cool. Letters! Sketch love. I bet they're saying how much they love that sketch... Special. Interview with Deke Farrard. Is that the Witcher? Not sure. Look like they're doing, um, yeah, concept artwork. See, I like more sort of stylized things. That's nice. I like more sort of like fun and thingies. Best cover ever. Lowish. Look how much better the subscriber one looks there than the one with the order text on it. It's amazing how different it, that one there. That was going to haunt me forever because <laughs> I I missed out on the subscriber one for that because me it got lost in the post. Oh, yeah. Celia Bordock. 
These are beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. See, oh, this is an artist I'd look into, this is. I absolutely love this one. Look at the shape on that, look. Yeah, this is a lovely artist. My favourite one is... I like that one as well. My favourite one is this one. Because I like the... Um, I just like it. It feels like sort of soft and gentle shading for that one. You can feel like the softness of it. Journey into Madness with James Clark. Beautiful looking article. The way it looks, it's a beautiful article. Put together nicely. Oh, that looks cool. Into the workshop slit. A robot character. I wonder if there's a human inside of that though. I was thinking about this, how long do you reckon it will be before there's like robots walking around who look like human, we don't even realize, that looks cool. I could almost see that moving somehow, it feels alive like a little world. Oh yeah, expressive character illustration with Olga Antoryanko, love this character here. Studio paint. <laughs> I love the I love his character. These are these are fun characters. These are got a little sketch as well. Look, look, that's my favourite. <laughs> I'd like to see um, more of her. I'd like to see her backstory and things. Finding the right angle. Again, I don't get, it's beautiful, but I don't get excited by that the way I do with characters. The thing about characters, I get really excited. I wonder why that is. Again, I don't get very excited by vehicles either. This is like an old, it's like a futuristic old thing. This is nice. Composition development with with Felipe Pagliossi. I like this um, bird thing here. <laughs> Quite cool. It reminds me a bit of um, Emu. Rod Hole and Emu. Aww. I'd like to have seen more of this. Into the traditional artists. FX Pose, these are nice. Julia Corner. These are fun. Look, we've got fun, and then we've got like scary or something. And now look at this. We've got now we've got weird. This is why I like these Imagine FX magazines. You're just getting loads of them. Um, that's another lowish one. That is look. You can get 13 issues in there. I'm not sure if I'd like that or not. I'd like just a plain one. I think they're quite expensive really, 14 quid for a binder. And I'm not, I've not I've not really looked into it, but I surely it's going to damage the car, the um the magazines, isn't it? I'm not sure. This is a nice one. Look. She's like the cosmos. Eliminating a cosmic mind bending perspective. Beautiful. Imagine if that's what we are. Imagine if that's what we are. We're like a, a creature and the whole of the universe is inside of us. It could be it could be like that. These are nice as well, look. That's it. 
that one went too quickly. That's what I'm thinking. I really enjoyed that one. There's some other the nice things in here, like the sketches. Beautiful. There's lots of artists I want to look into in this one. And I especially like this artist's art studio. <laughs> Whilst I don't think I would want that studio, I love it. I like more sort of clean and crisp environments. That was cool though. So I really hope you enjoyed that. It was a look at issue number 225 of the Imagine FX magazine for May 2023. Also, I like what they've done on the side look. They've gone and put like like a microchip thing or something. So they've gone with like the robotic circuitry on the spine, which is quite interesting. So I hope you enjoyed that and I shall see you later for another one.